So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. And the wife helping you to master your technology. Today she's going to join us for the wife edition episode 2. And the reason why is we're taking a look at her phone of the past. The iPhone 11 Pro. She recently upgraded to the Apple iPhone 14 Pro which we'll have in the next edition of this wife edition series. So stay tuned, stay subscribed for that episode. But um, we're getting ready for the holidays, as you can see, a little Christmas tree over here. Okay. And uh, we're going to begin by talking about the price point. So right now you can find these 11 Pros at around $250 to $400. So what are your thoughts about that comparatively to the starting price of this phone at around 1000 I remember when it came out and I was like, ooh, that's pricey. But it makes sense. Look at the beautiful phone. Like, it is so gorgeous, very glamorous, very fancy. So that made sense, but I'm glad that they lowered the price for people now because it's 11 and then the 14 came out. So that makes the most sense right now. She's going to discuss her current thoughts on the actual build quality, which would be how the phone feels in the hand, the design, stuff like that. So go ahead and take the stage. Okay. It feels to me pretty heavy in the hand. Um, I do like that it's very sleek. Uh, the aluminum. Is this aluminum on the sides or no? Stainless steel. Stainless steel. Look at that. And I, I like, I always loved how this matched this. This is like a beige. At first I was not a fan. I was like, okay, it's a, it's a gold or beige. And I'm like, how do I make this, you know, pink? Because you guys know I'm the pink queen. Um, but I really like how cute it is and shiny and fancy. It made me feel like I'm a million dollars. And I love how this like phone um, felt so, I don't know, like like upscale. Like I should walk into a, every five-star restaurant. <laughs> nice. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Now, my thoughts on this phone is quite similar, just a very premium feel. What I particularly like about this versus the squared edges is just how more comfortable the rounded corners of this phone felt mm. while maintaining that similar premium build we see today. The cameras do look laughably small by comparison oh, yeah. to the current 14. No, this is normal. This is, this well, is a well, beyond normal. <laughs> maybe this is normal and this is ridiculous on the I love No, it Pro. makes sense, I think. I think this makes sense because you want a, a fancy look, right? So you don't want the cameras to be sticking out all obvious versus like the new phone that came on. These are like gigantic. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So iPhone 4, 14 or 11 Pro still, I think for 250, 400 in December 2022 still feels quite premium mm -hmm. to say the least we're gonna move on now to the display quality we're talking about a samsung built oled display tuned by apple which basically is very bright mm -hmm. and colorful so looking at this panel right now in 2022 what are your thoughts on this thing like is this something you would still use is it something um, that like you just love the newer panel more or it's like about the same i mean i never imagined this with the ios 16 so like the fact that it has ios 16 now and the update obviously i would i could easily go from the 14 back to this one like because it has the same software but it looks really good i don't know i'm liking it I quality really, the quality is still it. good yeah and what about the notch the brightness being blinding. bigger and versus oh, the dynamic island. okay i forgot about that okay no this is this is fine this is fine for the average user who's like i want a fancy phone i want something that looks upscale i want something that's like really sleek but also stylish this is the phone for you because it doesn't matter this does not matter at the end of the day it does what about this slower 60 hertz do you even notice that really because a lot of people don't really notice no no i don't because i just you just don't i'm just see using it. the phone i just like oh, well so I know, compared, basically I mean, what about the size because the size is a little bit smaller mm -hmm. 5.8 inches yeah i was correct the the screen size of the 11 pro 5.8 inches we went up to 6.1 so mm -hmm. what do you think of that at this point is that size still i don't know this was like okay so these the new iphone 14 that they came out 14 pro that came out is i feel like that's too big for my hand i feel like this was very manageable the only thing was when i'm holding it can i show you how i was holding it back in the day when i would use it i would always lean my phone like this under uh, on top of my pinky and right here this would get heavy after a while because the phone itself is like it is sleek like i said but it is kind of heavy um and i'm guessing because the materials they use but this is really fancy i miss this it always reminds me of a mirror it's just so reflective i like i like that a lot yeah so for me personally you know the 60 hertz as a pro phone doesn't really feel pro in 2022 if you're a geek into tech like i am but at the same time the oled the brightness she said was blinding her mm -hmm. it's held up oh, yeah. very well i you complain would, about that you wouldn't know that this phone came out three years ago you would think it's still from 2022 if you just look at the front 
Fancy. panels. So display for this money, you're getting this at 250. I mean, you tell me an Android phone that's gonna beat this panel at that price point. You can see the OLED specs, but Apple does it a little bit more premium. So this is a good steal for a display right now if you wanted to pick one of these up used. We're gonna move on now to talking about our thoughts with the software. She already touched on that a little bit, but this does give you the latest and greatest iOS 16.2, which mm. I'm not even sure you update on your main phone yet. Uh, no. But this is this is the <laughs> latest and greatest 16.2. It comes with a new freeform application, allows you to get a little bit more creative. You know, you can build your own boards, collaborate with others, and there's much more we didn't discuss. But what are your thoughts on just the general software app library, just scrolling through, kind of like you know, obviously, it's almost the same as a mm -hmm. new phone. So, mm -hmm. like, software-wise, would you recommend this to somebody right now? Yeah, of course. I like the widgets, like, this setup. Always when it has, like, the front page, um, two widgets on the top and then the rest. Um, I'm not a big fan of when it, you make the folders. That just makes me very overwhelmed. <laughs> um, but I think that, I mean, again, I would have never imagined this with iOS 16 the way they designed it, iOS 16. So, um, the fact that it has, like, this library and the the widget's so cool looking like and you could personalize the lock screen and all that i never would have imagined that you could do that in this phone because when i had this phone that was not out so you don't see like the software being that much different if somebody bought this now it's kind of like they're still using the latest phone right um yeah pretty much it's i feel like you could go either way this one but this is really pretty mike why did i stop using this this <laughs> yeah. is really nice yeah it's held up pretty good yeah, if you guys fancy. have 11 pro 11 pro max let me know your thoughts down below yeah, so let me know if you if you guys are still rocking one I or like not, it. you know, because I think if you still have one and Fancy. you didn't want to go buy an iPhone, you could probably make it till the next iPhone easily. I could see people upgrading from this or the 11s that came out um, regular, like the regular 11, to the 14. I could see that. That would be an upgrade. Like, yeah, but not not to the not this to the regular 14s. You would have to go to the Pro. Pro, right? Yeah, because you're using a Pro, you go to. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna just open up some applications now, and we could kind of judge the performance. A lot of people say opening apps don't mean nothing. Yes, they do. What do you do on the day to day? You open apps, sir, ma'am. <laughs> sorry, you anybody? know, person, anybody, whoever's watching, you make that decision. Here's mm -hmm. the point. You open apps day to day. You swap between. This one does have a little bit less RAM. We're only rocking at four gigs, which is like the 14s, which is still enough. You know, iOS is solid. Mm -hmm. But honestly, you were scrolling through already. Do you see a yeah. major problem with performance? No. The one thing I remember was this was the first phone I had that because of its ultimate brightness unlocked. I was like complaining all the time. Like, baby, it's hurting my eyes. Yeah. So <laughs> that's like one Funny, thing I remember. Funny because your newest iPhone is way brighter, brighter than, than this that. phone. Yeah. This is an 800 nit. This was one of the first times they started jacking up the brightness from mm. the 650 nits mm -hmm. or 625, whatever it was. They started jacking up the brightness with the 11 Pro. Now even the base 14 models have the, they have the same brightness as this phone. Mm. But Back in the day when this came out, this was super, super like, bright. Yeah. It, it reached the brightness level also of like the MacBook. If anybody here watching this has a MacBook, you guys would know too. Like when you put the brightness all the way high, it's it's like equal yeah. to the one on the phone here. But performance wise though, it's still solid. Mm, fast. There, there's not real. It's It definitely gets a pass here if you wanted to pick one up. Love it. Talking Perfect. about the camera system. I think... For me personally, watching her use this phone and going to the new ones, I don't even ever hear her say, oh, this one's so much better. <laughs> it's like... For cameras? Yeah. Like, I don't um, know if you've even noticed how... Is this one uh, still good? No. What do you think? Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. I haven't... No number one, no. I said no because I didn't notice. Um, and number two, it, look at how nice. Show the picture. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the detail. I'm going to show you some samples in a little bit. We're going to take a little break and show you some samples. Beautiful, but beautiful, beautiful. Definitely... What do you think of the, this versus like your newer 14 Pro, the upgrades? Are they massive? Um, oh, hey, everybody. Uh, hey. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the... Oh, hi. How you <laughs> doing? <laughs> um, I like the upgrade in the camera. I don't know. I don't... Oh, man, I miss that small size. Can you show in the back? The... um, No, babe. The little circles. That Yeah, this... I love that size. Man, I wish they kept it like this, but with the technology of the bigger ones... But we're talking about the quality though here. Should somebody buy this for quality at two fifty yeah. right now, three hundred bucks? Are they getting a steal? Yes, I think so. I think so. If as long video. as hey, as long as that's what I was gonna say. As long as the video records in four K, if you want to make your own videos, then yeah, that's good. So yeah, 
It's Wait, definitely, she's not really the camera expert. She pulls the phone no. out and takes a photo, yeah. calls it a day. I don't do those micro shots and all that. And that's so. a good example of what a regular user's like. They don't come in here and start playing with all this 16 by 9, this more technical stuff. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, she asks me sometimes how to do things Yeah, I'm like with the camera. Oh my God, literally, literally yesterday, we were in the car. And then what had happened was I asked him. Okay, if it if the HDR video is turned on, does that mean HDR photos? Like, how do I turn it off? Because I didn't like how iPhone was taking such sharp photos. Like, it was nice, and then it would do this thing. Basically, where it I told sharper. her you have to go on the settings to tweak the HDR. She did not know that. Did not know. We figured that out. Let's move on now mm-hmm. to um, talking to about battery life um, on know. this phone. So, battery life here. You know, mm. something she hasn't used in a while, but she not the largest battery here. But definitely the iPhone 11 Pro can get through a day with medium use. So go ahead, take the stage. Okay, so what happened was, see this, I'm not good with charging my phones. I'm notorious for this. Ever since I had the iPhone 7, I remember, uh, wait, actually no. Ever since I had the iPhone 5S, and that was my first iPhone, I drained the battery by not charging it. Um, that's my That's my skill. So, but how long did this phone last? For, oh, all day. All day. Oh my gosh, I remember bringing this to work and everybody noticed and everybody was like, ooh, fancy phone, bougie. Well, now she doesn't really you know, use this that much anymore, so Mm-mm. I could tell you it does get warmer than when it first came out, but oh. battery life is usable. It's definitely, if you pick this up now, December 2022, this baby is usable for sure. We're going to wrap this video up with a few quick things. Um, audio performance has improved on the newer phones are louder for sure. Mm. Um, so yeah, a lot of people don't really pay attention to that. They just play their songs. So yeah, wait, 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 what? Okay. So does this phone have the speakers on top? Yes. And all of the iPhones since like the 11 pro where, let me see. It has, it's, it's oh, integrated this? up there. Yes. Oh, I thought it's always, no, oh not gosh. that it's like, it's, it's kind of under the screen, mm. whatever it's down here too. Mm. It's a stereo speaker setup. It's louder and better on the newer phones, obviously, but this is still solid. Nobody's going to complain. The next thing I want to talk about is 5G. Have you noticed 5G being a game changer for mobile performance, internet speed on the go? Is it something that they're going to miss too much? Okay, first of all, I did not have 5G when this phone, when I had this phone, like 5G was not out yet. So, but no, I, no. No, so you don't really notice, even though a 5G is way faster. Well, but I mean, now that it's on here now, like this is OK. This is a completely revamped phone with the new software on here and like 5G on here. It's a different ball game. This is not okay? 5G, though. Only the 14 Pro is 5G. I'm asking you, have you noticed the Internet speeds much faster in your newer phones? Yeah. Yeah. So you will well, be at si- home because we got Wi-Fi. Well, that's not. We're talking 5G mobile performance on the go when you're out and about at school you're you're out and about on the road like when you're out of the house has your internet speeds got faster on the newer phone versus this one i'm gonna say yeah yeah so definitely you're gonna be sacrificing a little bit with that but i'm gonna tell you right now most of the time you're not getting the strongest 5g performance so Mm. you'll be able to get through the day you'll be fine with this for at least another year if you wanted to pick this up or even a couple years Lastly, a couple other things before we discuss the final thoughts. This has a lower resale value. So if you pick one mm. up, you're not getting a lot back for it. So you better, if you're buying this just for a secondhand iPhone or to use it, remember that you're not getting a lot of money back. You're not going to buy this and sell it and make bank. It's just not happening. But, you're buying this to use it. But I hope you like gold because it looks nice. Yeah. And we're going to discuss our final thoughts. Mm. It's tough to say. Is it worth it? Because you can get... You know, newer iPhones for just a little bit more, you know, a couple hundred dollars, you can get a new iPhone 13 mini, oh. you know, iPhone 13, a few mm. hundred bucks more. Should they just go with a newer phone or should they pick this up as a secondhand option here at this point? Um, okay, not gonna lie. This is gonna be for my peeps that wanna be bougie. So that is that's the that's the crowd or audience that should what buy this phone. What does bougie mean for those like people fancy. who don't know? It's going to be fancy. I'm going to walk into the five-star restaurants and be fancy. Okay. So this is the phone for you. So, um, if you're trying to flex, but like not major flex, just flex. I, it, look at how nice, babe. It's so nice. It's beautiful. I yeah. Like, so overall, my take on it, is it worth it? Yes. I think it's worth it for a particular person. Like mm. if you're looking for... Like she said, the flex, you want premium, but you don't want to pay a lot for it at this point. 
this is like the only way you're going to get it. 11 Pro, 12 Pro is even more. Beautiful phone. Um, this is just a beautiful phone if you want a premium look at a low price. Other than that, you know, you can just go get the newer iPhones, pay a couple hundred more if you want the better speed, better performance, better cameras. But this is still good on 100% battery capacity. Now, this phone in particular that I used, you guys saw, it was in the 80s. Um, you know, not too proud of that. But ideally, this is going to be for somebody who wants a fancier iPhone than what they have if they have the iPhone 8, the iPhone 7, you know, like that's, this is going to be an upgrade oh, from yeah, that, you yeah. know, and if you cannot <clears throat> save money or don't um, have enough to get the 14 or the 13, so go with this one, you know, it's, yes. it's still beautiful. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, we're going to, that's about it here for this episode. Stay tuned because in the next episode, she hasn't had this very long. This is the gold iPhone. Yeah. 14 Pro. It's a little bit more champagne looking, a little mm. lighter than this it's one. It's a starlight. That's but we'll definitely be covering this one soon, giving her real world take on it after she's had it for a little while. So maybe like a week or two, we'll come back with Ooh. another Wife Edition episode. I was going to say one thing about this for sure. This is going to be a follow up to the last video, the first Wife Edition video that you guys watched when I was talking about this. So please stay tuned. And let me know your thoughts on the iPhone 11 Pro. If you found this video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor. Click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you on the next one. Be sure, sure to, to be, be well, well and peace. peace.